Hey guys, um, I'm building a Mama Monster Wrestler. I've actually started already. So, so far I've got the Energy Aluminum Gearbox, the motor, I bought it used. Same with the Mama Monster ESC here. It's uh, right here, we got the external BC. These are just zip tied on. Put a couple holes down in the chassis. Same with up here, put two holes for each electronic piece. Um, so basically, this is just going to be me going over it. So, so far I've got, obviously, my monster, this, my gearing. I'm not set, this is not my set gearing. Just over now. Um, it's not like just my set gearing, you know, I've got GRPs, I went with GRPs because they're easy, um, they're easy, they're, they last a lot longer, but here's the thing, these are S2s, these are S1s, the fronts I chose to go with S1s. Because I think that um, they'll, they'll become a little bit more sticky. And they will help keep the car st like more stable. These are the softest GRPs you can get. That or I have the ugly Jayco's up front and have GRPs in the rear. And that just, I don't like that. I'd rather have all GRP, I mean Jayco's. Other than that, I've got these really big shocks that I had to uh, kind of modify to fit in here. Um, I think they're to a Red Cat Caldera, I think the guy said. But it's got stock fronts. Uh, they're all lowered. The car sits pretty well. The only thing I need to buy, and I think, I think they're already ordered... I don't know, I'll have to check, is adjustable camera links because, yeah, uh, I have them, like, somewhat adjusted with just, like, metal bar, but they're not very good. Another thing I need to do is adjust the toe properly and the camber, obviously, with the adjustable camera links. Um, other than that, I'm not gonna show the gearing, well, you know what, just because, for now, I'm running this 25-tooth pinion. I've got this cover on here so you can't see it. It's modified, obviously. And actually, I think it helps. It's a plastic spur gear right Traxxas. I think it's a 36-tooth. Um, but I'm just trying to protect rocks from not getting up in here too much I don't recommend it I'm going to remove it when I get uh, higher gearing I'm actually thinking 34 tooth pinion and modifying the slipper shaft um, well just basically grinding a flat spot like the motor and fitting this pinion gear on there because that will give me the t highest top speed I can possibly go for um, the motor guard on here is uh, custom built by me I actually made this myself it's, it's it's not the prettiest of things but it works just has to function um, so basically no front bumper currently I'm gonna get rid of this and maybe make some sort of like extended pieces and have a like a front wing that uh, shoots the air up onto the body or I'll just get like a t-bone racing bumper and mount it up here I'm not quite sure what I want to do but you can also just mount it down here I think it might be just easier to do it the other way. Uh, the wheel adapters are 
just weird things uh, I got off eBay no actually I got it off Amazon for like 11 bucks so yeah that was pretty that was a pretty good investment um obviously I said Mom monster 2 of oh, my weights um weight is important here I've got this like it was like some like I think it was some sort of soup can but it was really small it was not like a normal size I poured lead into it and there's got it's got a giant washer in there uh, and that's just zip tied to the this right here which then these uh, it just got some nuts on here for added weight and this is only about a pound of weight um, um because my gearing is not 3434 I think I can handle it I was driving it earlier today just to try it out and let me tell you it needs adjustable camber links these are just like super glued on and the toe is off too. Uh, but it's super hard to adjust. For, to me. Um, so. It, it sounds pretty good. Obviously. Um, so. So. Um, it's got standard. Tracks as TQI radio. You know, simple radio. Got three channel. And I've got the that. You know. Here's my steering trim. It got a little messed up. Here's the TSM. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's got a couple stickers on it. Uh, the Powered by Castle sticker, RPM, Hobby Heroes, Rustler, Powered by Castle, and then a Castle Creations sticker there. So, here's the packages to the tires here. If, if you want to get the tires, they're perfect for my road because you can't, uh, I think you can see it out there. Yeah, that's basically it. But I have a lot more of it to work with. Um, in this one, it was a Sidewinder 3 5700 KV setup. Uh, I hit 57 on that road. On pretty much almost stock gearing for a truck, uh, the XL5 Rustler, except the spur was a 86 tooth, which actually comes with the car if you buy it new, so, I'm gonna see if I can get a run video in, uh, got my little custom made adapter to from Traxxas to the Dean's plug. Uh, I, I couldn't find any shrink tubing, so I just used um, some purple electrical tape. Don't worry, I did not just do it like this. There's some around each wire, and then there's some wrapped all the way around it for a little bit of added uh, strength. I guess you could say. So. And. Even though I ran 57 miles an hour. And I can't even get this thing full throttle. Because it. It spins out a little. Um, it likes to. It likes to. As you can kind of tell. It's got new bearings in it. Uh, this 
this screw right here is loose, I just realized. So I'll have to tighten that up. There's like no play in the front. Uh, I am going to have to tighten this one up, I guess. That's why there's so much wobble in this wheel. But I'll try and get a run video up. Hopefully I can film it this weekend. Um, but I'm, I don't know. I'll try. I am going to make a series connector for my Dean. Yeah, for my for the Dean's plug, which is, a, is also referred to as the T plug. Just a standard plug. But I'll make a series connector so I can run 6S. And if that goes any, if that goes, if that goes well, then I'll try and, uh, first I'm going to run out in 3S, see what's the maximum speed I can get 3S. Um, my 3S 55C battery actually quit on me, so I bought some new ones. Um, she got two, I got two of them, uh, so, yeah, hopefully that'll, so, hopefully I can get a run video in soon, um, if you'd like me to do 3S run first, I mean, I think... My 3S runs are going to be so much easier to do because I'm familiar with 3S power going this speed. Although, let me tell you, it's a little fast. I was not expecting it. Considering that it's just this standard 34, th I mean not 34, 25, 36. I mean, it's got some oomph. It's got some oomph. It's, it's got some, it's got some power. It's definitely a lot more torquey than I'm used to in my RCs. Because uh, obviously I ran 5,700 kV. It's going to be a little, it's going to have a lot of torque. Compared to that, uh, it's very long. It's 2,200 kV. Uh, and the length of this is what makes it really got some uh, kick to it. And I'm, I'm not really the best with throttle control. Usually, usually I'll get it half throttle and then I'll just nail it. Kind of used to bashing it, I guess. I uh, haven't bashed this thing for a long time, but everything's held up. Except for the rear arms and and a couple of the rear bearing carriers and a caster block, but those were suit. Uh, and I just went ahead and went and got some. I went ahead and just bought RPM front arms while I was at it. Uh, and the caster block I got for free from my friend because he is parting out his old stampede two wheel drive. So that was that was pretty nice. And so I got the three S charging up right now. So I got one of them charging up right now. I should say. Just gonna let it go overnight. I wish I did not put this here, or else I'd show you guys, but that's all for this video. I'll try and get the the run video up this weekend, hopefully I can, because um, that'd be pretty awesome. I'm hoping that with 6S on this gearing, I can at least hit 80, 90 miles an hour. 
And that is if uh, the gears will hold up to that because the plastic one is starting to get a little bit chipped on one side for some reason. I try not to run it in the gravel because it's it shakes the car a lot. I mean, it seems to do okay. Uh, the bearing, I mean, the body is downstairs currently uh, where I had the stand for this thing. So there's my hundred mile hour rustler conversion so far. Try and get a 3S run, and then hopefully I can make a series connector, and so we can run 6S. So that's all for this video, and hope you guys enjoy this. I'm just trying to go for a old build like Draven, and then we're doing Draven Geo Stealth. Um, Just not as crazy as them. <laughs> 114 miles an hour is crazy for such a short little span that he had. Uh, I'm talking about Draven if you didn't really know. But that's that was crazy. Okay, guys. Uh, See you next time in the run video. Hopefully out there. It's getting dark. Hopefully I'll have the adjustable camber links by then. You know. I mean. I'm going to get the upgrade Traxxas ones. For $22. I mean. Actually I might try and call the hobby shop and see if they have like the stock ones. That are go to the standard wrestler because they're just as good if not even better because they're actually metal and not aluminum but uh that's it for this video and uh yeah i'm just gonna stop the video now just make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the run video